My competition kicks off with 12 amazing dancers who think they have what it takes to be in the spotlight. Everything that you say is being videotaped. I don't care! We didn't come here to talk about our life problems. But first, they'll have to go through us. You had the opportunity to become a star tonight, and you blew it. Choreographer for the Pussycat Dolls, Robin Antic. You are going to be one of the best dancers by far. Lady Gaga's choreographer, Richie Jackson. Looks like, OK, she's in it. And of course, me, Abby Lee Miller. No excuses. No, but Come it's, on. no, no, no. If you think we're tough, <laughs> I'm an outcast sometimes. <laughs> I love you no matter what. Just wait till you meet their moms. Hell no. I will protect any child, whether it's mine or not. Are you kidding me? No, you don't know me. You, can't you don't know me. kid. That was her job. She was made the team captain. Up. No, you did it. You did it. You sat here and she knows about you, so get your ass out of here now. Now. This is not just a competition. This is the competition of a lifetime. Your name is known in the country. For one of these dancers, their dreams will come true. She has no idea how big this is. It'll change my life a lot. Today is not your day. You will be going home. that have gone through multiple auditions to get to this point. I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited. I'm looking for some dancer that is the best at all genres. Ballet, tap, jazz, lyrical, contemporary. You name it, they better be able to do it. Are you nervous? No. These dancers and their moms must work together for the ultimate prize. $100,000 in cash and a full scholarship to the Young Dancers Program at the Joffrey Ballet School in New York City. <laughs> That is truly an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, I am living right now. It's crazy, you're crazy. I am Kelly and this is my daughter, Jordan. Jordan has been dancing since she was two years old. Jordan eats, sleeps, breathes, dancing. It is extremely important to win this competition. And if anybody else tells you that they're not in it to win it, they are crazy. <laughs> You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Today's the big day, Zach. I'm Gina, and I'm Zach's mom, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. There are some moms that have said that I only win because I'm a boy. I love the attention of standing out and being different. I think it's great. I love being a boy dancer. I mean, because I've only been dancing for three years, but jazz is definitely one of my strengths. Any attention I can get dance-wise just makes me the happiest person in the world. I think if I work very hard and don't let all the drama get to my head very much, I think I could easily win this competition. I have such a great feeling about this. I'm Hadley. I'm 12 years old. I'm Hadley's mother. Being a dance teacher myself has helped Hadley tremendously because I'm a very intense instructor. When most all the other children go home, we're still at the studio practicing. In our household, we have a lot of different sayings that we live by. I think it's just part of helping Hadley understand. Hadley, you gotta risk it. To get the biscuit. Go the extra mile because it's never crowded. Don't fight it. Just invite it. You're either in or you're in the way. That's right. I think at this level of the competition, you really cannot trust anyone. Not when there's this kind of money and scholarship at stake. Welcome to Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Yeah! Just to be standing in this room means that you are among the best young dancers in the country, and you should be so proud of yourselves. You guys excited to meet Abby Lee Miller? Yeah! Maybe a little bit nervous? Well, let's get her out here, the one and only Abby Lee Miller. When Abby came out on stage, 
I thought I was gonna pass out. I thought I was gonna cry. I thought I was gonna faint. I was really freaking out. All right. Getting here was tough. But that doesn't compare to what it takes to stay here. Abby Lee Miller is a huge personality. I mean, she takes over the room. She's a little scary on TV. She's kind of a lot scary in person. You may win all the competitions in your area, but you have never experienced anything like this. This is Tua's opportunity to give him what she's got. Tua's dance career is a huge time commitment and a huge financial commitment. We have made huge sacrifices just so that I could get her to dance class. It'll be worth it in the long run. It will pay off, especially if she gets that $100,000 prize. <laughs> Each week, you will perform in front of a live audience. The other judges and myself will decide who stays and who goes. Robin, Richie, and I, we're all looking for something different. I'm always looking for that thing that makes them go, ah! even though they can't say that through their movement. I'm looking for a star. I'm looking for a dancer that can get up on stage and be a dancer and a real artist. I want a flawless dancer. In just a few moments, you will begin your first group challenge dance. Here's how our first group challenge is going to work. You'll have 45 minutes to learn a combination, then I'll come back and I'll watch you dance. I'll decide who I think has done the best job. That winner will get to choose their style for the main event. The choices are jazz, hip hop, contemporary, or tap. Got it? Every week, I'm going to give you a different skill. Your skill for this week is technique. Proper technique means beautiful posture, great body alignment, gorgeous lines. That's what I'll be looking for. One of our staff choreographers is waiting for you guys downstairs in the big rehearsal room. Good luck. Your performance begins in 45 minutes. Good luck on your technique. I'm confident in Elizabeth's ability to pick up choreography quickly, and I'm confident in her technique. She's competed for years, and where we come from in our studio, technique is everything. Moms, take a seat over here. Dancers, get ready to hit the step. This is really gonna be a tough challenge. The dancers only have 45 minutes to learn the combination. That may not seem like a lot of time, but hey, this is a competition. So if you can't handle the heat, get out of the spotlight. Five, six, seven, and an eight. If Tessa wins, or no, 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 no. Forget that I even said if. When Tessa wins, because Tessa has great technique, that's definitely one of her assets. Tessa started dancing basically because I love clothing and she looks so damn cute in a tutu. I thought, oh my God, let me put her in a ballet class and then she just took to it. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, five, boom, boom. Three and four and five. Seven, eight, one. I don't want to see just old, old rinky dink kicks. Show control. Sitting with the moms, I think we were all a little tense just because we weren't sure whose kid could do what. And, you know, we are just kind of sizing everybody up. I was watching Lexine, and I can see the change on her face from being confident to, like, getting really nervous and frustrated. And I'm like, oh, my God, do exactly what Anthony's doing. One, two, stop. I see you every second you keep looking over there for your moms. They can't do anything. I'm definitely a dance mom that's involved um, with my daughter's career and going to support her no matter what. The moms were a little distracting at times. They think they're helping so much. Sometimes they are stressing us out. OK, we need to talk about some things, OK? First of all, turn on your brain. Please <laughs> turn on your brain. OK, do it. Ready? Oh, my gosh. One, two, three, wow. Wow, wow, one, two, three, step coupe, jeté. I'm trying to help her. Okay, and, and remind her, here's what I say to Abby. Trust me. That's what I said. I said, like, I'm, she's crying. I think that Hadley's mom, Yvette, is a really nice person. She's really warm and really likable. She's got experience with teaching her daughter, and I've had problems with trying to teach my daughter and get through to her. And remind her, parents are the kids' best teachers. 
I'm not a chair to be a mean ear. You're very dance. No, I'm not. I don't want to be that. But I want to help her. So I kind of went to her for advice. And then afterwards, I kind of thought about it and said, wait a minute. She's in this to win this, too. So maybe I shouldn't trust her as much as I do. Take two minutes to get water dancers. Stay away from the wall. Don't think about the negatives. Focus on the positives. You've been this, you get to pick your style, okay? Do you want this? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, you want it? So then sh shape out face. Sometimes she gets a little, like, too tough on me. She critiques me a lot. Okay, go practice right in the mirror. See yourself. I think that Maria is probably a tough dance mom. I've not really had a conversation with her, but I can pretty much figure that her intensity level is going to skyrocket. One last time. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, and two. The clock is ticking, and these kids are running out of time. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, and four, and one. I'm nervous when Abby comes into the room because my technique has to be flawless to be able to win this challenge. The winner of this challenge gets to pick their style and that can make you or break you. We want to see everybody's best foot forward, so when you get to pick your own style, you have it made. All right, you know what I'm looking for? Do you have it? Yes! And is it good? Yes! Dance is ready? Beautiful posture, great body alignment, gorgeous lines. That's what I'll be looking for in today's group challenge. Well, I was very impressed with what I saw. Hadley, I think you have a lot going on there. With the headpiece and the stripes, it's a little busy for me to see your body lines, and I'm looking for technique. Elizabeth, really entertained me. You stood out, you're tall, the blonde hair's working, the turquoise works. You were a good package. Madison, I felt that I noticed you. My eyes went to you. Upstage, you used the floor. That was smart. Tua, your face is gorgeous. It stands out to me, but it's about technique. That's what the challenge is today. So, I think I have my winner. I think that I have to go with... Kids have all performed for the group challenge. Now it's time to pick a winner based on their technique. The pressure's on. I think that I have to go with... Elizabeth. I know the skill for this challenge was all about the technique, but the minute I walked through that door, I noticed her. First impressions never go away. You get to decide what kind of dance your trio will be performing at the competition dance. Your choices are jazz, hip hop, contemporary, or tap. The reward for winning the challenge is that you were able to pick your own style of dance. I think that this could make or break you. I choose contemporary. The prize for this dance challenge was getting to pick my own style for our competition dance. Of course I chose contemporary because it's my strength, so I was really happy that I won. This week, our theme for the main event is Hollywood. You're going to be divided into trios. And we'll see you guys at the big show, all right? All right. Abby's hard to please, so that was a very huge deal for Elizabeth. Her confidence is way up here now. Go sit on the throne, because you're the queen. You're the queen of this challenge, my love. I was a bit surprised that Elizabeth won the technique challenge. You know, because she's not that good. Woot, woot. So super proud of you. Overconfident people, I'm not attracted to. When people think they're all that in a bag of chips, you know what? Maybe they've been eating too many bags of chips. Ooh. 
Yvette irritates me. The way she smiles at me, it is a real. And I know why. It's because Elizabeth's now on her radar. She's definitely in the competition. I'm excited to see who your trio partners are going to be. Abby's ultimate dance competition is the first of its kind. Each week, I assign the dancers a style of dance, a routine, and a guest choreographer. We start six, seven, you hit. Jordan got put in a trio with Lexine and Asia, choreographed by Bobby Newberry. It's fabulous. OK, let's spread out just a little pinch. Hip hop is groovy, and it's my thing. Throw, pop, pop, hit, hit, boom, boom. I hear you talking. Asia's been dancing since two years old, and she is my sassy little diva. Pop, boom, 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 pop, boom, boom. I get some criticism with the, um, the makeup, the eyelashes, but what she's doing at six is pretty amazing. Got and walk and walk. You can say what you want to say. Work. I am not happy with the dance style because Lexine is trained in ballet and hip hop is the exact opposite of what she does in ballet. The judges will see that. So I am in a trio with Madison and Zach and I'm really excited because it's jazz and that's one of my strengths. Music starts, you go right away. One, two. Madison is very strong at picking up choreography and she's also very diverse. She could do it all. So she is a very strong contender. Not yet. Oh. Six year a little bit early. Well, on the first time that she goes down to the floor, what count or how many counts does she have to get up so she does the straddle? So you hit it on one, then we have that and one. I knew that Gina was the professional and she was in her element, but it was definitely tough to strap me down to the seat and, and hold my mouth shut. So there's enough time for her to get back up? Oh, yeah. OK. I think she's doing fine. <laughs> I just want her to look like she's dancing panicked, you know? I think with Yvette trying to coach her daughter during the trio, it's so hard for her because she's a teacher. She can't let go. Moms, you're killing me with all those faces. Oh! <laughs> There's a reason why I do this. I'm just going to shut up. I'm just going to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> I think you look great. I think you're going to kick butt. Done! Once Gina was done with the choreography, it was game on for this dance teacher. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, stop, stop. Use the inner thigh. Press from your inner thigh. Five, six, seven, eight. What's going on, dancers? You got me this week. My trio this week is contemporary, and it's with Anthony Burrell. So I'm definitely going to work really hard this week and make sure that I wouldn't be going home. Wow, wow. Boom, 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 boom. Five, six, seven, go. From here, on four, you got to be able to get up four. Stop looking at your mom. Your mom can't help you right now. Look at me. One more time. During the rehearsals, Erin at some point had to grab a chair sit and give her the back to her daughter while she was rehearsing. Anthony had to tell Elizabeth, stop looking at your mother. Having Aaron in the room was a distraction to Elizabeth to be able to concentrate. To his tap trio is choreographed by Joyce Chittick. She is a Broadway performer and an amazing tap dancer. Very like old school Gene Kelly. There's a little sass on my girl's face. I have a lot of experience with tap, so I'm not nervous and I'm very confident about this combination. Tess has experience in tap. You know, we make sure that she's well-rounded. Joyce has given Tessa somewhat of a lead role, so it will be exciting to see. I mean, she's levels ahead of Tua. They wouldn't even be in the same dance class. She puts so much pressure on herself. She freaks herself out. I am a wreck when I watch Tua dance. I can feel her tension. She's just getting frustrated. To his least favorite style of dance is tap. And lo and behold, she's put in a tap number. So we'll see what happens when she goes on stage. pressure because it's our first time performing in front of the live audience and the three judges, so I'm kind of nervous. I hope I can pull it off. 
You're gonna do great. Just be you, do what you do, have fun. I don't care what they say about me. No ants, no buts, no its, no whatevers. I'm winning Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. We're here to win, and that's it. And I really have to stay focused on that, and so does she. I'm nervous 24 hours a day. I am so nervous, it's not even funny. I feel an enormous amount of pressure for Brianna. We're here at the historic Los Angeles Theater for the all-important stage portion of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Now, before we get started, let's say hello to the three people responsible for deciding who gets that incredible prize. Our judges, you guys all know her as the infamous choreographer from Dance Moms, the lovely Abby Lee Miller. How you doing, Abby? I'm excited. I want to see the talent. So, Abby, we'll start with you. What are you, uh, what are you looking for tonight? I'm always looking for that technique. And I want a star. Uh, and he is the visual director and choreographer for a little pop star. You guys may have heard of her, Lady Gaga. It's Richie Jackson. <laughs> Richie, what about you, man? Um, I'm definitely looking for lots of energy and just performance and pizzazz. I just, they got to give it all to us. And last but never least, she is the creator and choreographer of the Pussycat Dolls. Give it up for Robin Anton. <laughs> Hey, Robin, what about you? I'm looking for, well, confidence, charisma, and sass. Each trio will perform a dance related to our Hollywood theme, The Fame Game. First up is Asia, Jordan, and Lexine doing a hip hop number. In my dance, I have to do the front walkover, and it's kind of like my first time, so I'm a little nervous because I want to make sure it goes well. They're still doing it with the cameras. Great job, guys. Now let's hear the judges' critiques. Abby, we'll start with you. Uh, Lexi, little trouble with the front walkover? First time, I thought, oh, she just slipped, she fell. Is it a front walkover to one knee, or do you just not do a front walkover? I can do a front walkover, it's just that I didn't do it very well that time. They didn't say anything about her performance. She has technique in it. She hit her turn. But the tumbling, okay, come on, that's a trick. It's not even a technique, it's a trick. Jordan, I loved it, it was good, but when you don't turn your feet out, it's really noticeable. Girls, I want to say it was an okay job. What I saw right now was not hip-hop, it was movement. Asia, I'm speechless when I watch you perform because it's like, where'd you come from? But I want you to work on your hip hop, okay? Overall, I liked watching it. It was, I enjoyed watching it. I thought it was really fun. Asia, even if you don't do the choreography well, you were born to be a pussycat doll. Thank you very much, dancers. Thank you so much. You can jo go join your mom. Lexine came up to me and she looked at me in the eyes and crying. Um, you know, I said, it's okay, honey, we can go home now. You said you can do the tumbling and no, you can don't do don't that. Say that. No, it's okay. No, don't tell her she's going home. It's okay, it's no. okay. We already knew. No, no, no. Immediately, Maria grabbed Lexine by the hand and says, 
Well, we're going home. It will hurt more if she's not prepared for that. I know her. I just asked her if she wanted to go home. She doesn't want to go home. You know what? You're pushing me to just she go did a great without job. even waiting. Do you want me to push, OK? No, OK, so it's your sure. It was just too much. It was sad. It was sad. Lexine, I think you did an amazing job. And you should be very proud of yourself. Lexine okay, did Lexine. great. And I, I would never okay. tell my daughter she, when she came off stage that okay, we're going home. Wait, 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 stop. I don't like it. I know. Why can't you just? You don't understand, OK? You don't understand. But what are you doing to her when you tell her that she's going home? Oh what are you doing to because her self-conscious? No, she's fine. What are you doing to her? She's crying. She's you guys because you're not stopping. Can you just? Do not talk to my, do not talk to my child that way. No, no, don't you cry. You do not talk to my child that way. Well, then you tell her. You tell her. Don't, don't make her talk to my daughter anymore, please. She was not talking disrespectful to you at all. No, she's not. She's not talking. She's been so No. As far as Maria goes, I will not apologize to that woman. I do not even scream at my child like that. Nobody else is going to either. You crossed the line when you talk to my child that way. No, 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 no. I trusted you. You said you're going to clean it and everything. Nobody cleaned my daughter. dance competition. Next up is a jazz dance about the desperation of actors during the audition process. Please welcome Hadley, Madison, and Zach. It's the real deal. When you have the $100,000 cash prize and the Joffrey Ballet scholarship on the line, they're looking for the best dancer. I'm gonna be something. pants on and you're wearing shorts on look at those knees again if they're not straight cover them up okay so madison you are fierce Thank i you. mean you really are and you know i have to say you are going to be one of the best dancers thank you uh, so I'm much for sure by far Hadley, yes overall i think it was a very nice job you have what it takes. I can tell that you're on point. You don't mess around. You know where you're gonna go. You know how you're gonna hit every step. But there is just one more like let go factor. I feel like there's a little firestorm in there that you just won't let her out. Let her out, okay? okay? And if you fail after that point, then at least you gave it 100%. Right. All right, thank you judges, dancers. Thank you so much. The judges' comments to Hadley after the trio definitely went straight to my heart in not the best way ever. I don't want Hadley to be on their radar for making mistakes. All right, we're two trios down with two more to go. By the end of the night, one of our young dancers will be headed home. The next trio will be performing a tap number in the style of old Hollywood. Make some noise for Tua, Tessa, and Kylie J. She was a little bit nervous about the trio. She did have some, some struggle when it came to learning the dance, so hopefully she'll be just fine.
to a Tessa and Kylie J. How about it? All right, we're dying to know what the judges think. Tessa, you were given a role, a character to portray, and you didn't do that. You did yeah. the choreography, you counted it out, but you were supposed to steal the show. Tessa, exactly. you should have went for it. It was da 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 Kylie J, it's hard for me to see who you are through these crazy little wigs, but you're a really good performer. Tessa, you have beautiful big eyes, and you need to use the eyes more. Okay, what I notice a lot is you look down a lot. Tua, you know, we haven't been here that long, but there's two other girls in this competition that you are up against. That's Asia, and that's Lexine. Tua, tapping your beat behind. Yeah, stealing the spotlight like a lot of people do. You gotta take it when it's hey, there. Hey, hey, okay. oh, like, like, oh my gosh, you too. <laughs> okay, so girls. Oh, we girls, trying to steal my spotlight. <laughs> you have lots of work to do. Fantastic, thank All you so right. much. Nice job, guys, thank you, judges. Tess has experience in tap. She's got the technique that takes years to get technique. Tua was able to have the performance face, no technique. Tess has the technique no performance face. Our final trio will be performing a contemporary number that's about the loneliness of fame. Let's welcome Brianna, Elizabeth, and Amanda. When we were backstage, I told Elizabeth she better shine because she selected contemporary as the style for her trio. Now all those kids, all those moms, and Abby Lee Miller are watching her. I'm in love with the costumes. I love the choreography. I love the girls. But I have to, I have to lay the law down. Elizabeth, your feet. Whenever you took your pose, your ankles were not together. Your feet were completely sickled. But, but I think also with Elizabeth being so tall. Oh, you know, no you know, excuses. No, but Come it's, on. no, 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 no. But I'm saying that it, because she's taller, you have so much more. You're like two Damn. up. You need to work down. Yeah, but they can't even go to the radio station and she can't. Okay. So, oh, wow. They're going to eat you alive, but I'm going to say, yes, you three angels. You guys walked in like, oh. Ball Breath of and fresh hope air. It and was. fresh air. It was beautiful. It was. I thought it was it gorgeous. Was. I thought your presentation was amazing. No matter what your feet were doing and where your hand places were, it felt so good. All I could do is give you the finger wave. It's true. It was fantastic. And especially, I have to say, Amanda, I mean, my God, you stood out. You are, down. you are fabulous. You danced down. I mean, really, like, you, you're so great. Elizabeth. You were the challenge winner. Right now, looking at you between these two dancers, not the best technique out of the three. Your head is not in the game. What's going on? Well, my mom and dad, they're getting a divorce, and it's just been really hard on me. Okay. This is okay. just kind of my escape right now, and I really love doing this. It just means the world to me. I definitely think that Elizabeth brought up the divorce to kind of take the heat off of her lack of technical abilities. She had won the technique challenge, and then she had danced side by side with two very technical dancers. So I think it was kind of her way of getting out of that criticism. Well, I think you're teaching everybody a valuable lesson, and dance is an escape. When you step out on that stage, this is your home. Yeah. Yes. That's your safe place. When you go into that studio, all the troubles go away. You look in the mirror and it's you, sweetheart. Yes? So I think we all applaud that. 
This is a dance competition, right? You want to do what you need to do to win. I'm so proud of you. I just messed up my technique. You didn't mess up. They just, they're, try they're trying to improve you. That makes me nervous. I can go for it. Elizabeth, her breakdown, I don't know if it's sincere. It could be, but I know what Erin has said to me in the past, that she's here to play the game. I feel that Erin is definitely using her divorce to her advantage. I like her. She's a little fighter. Today is about confidence. Well, and this one does have confidence. But today, and I, I think what she I was the weakest hey, link. Like, if you would have said to me, what number was she in? I would never have known, but I know this one. Do you think because was, she stands out. Do you think it was hard because of the outfits and their hair? Everything was definitely Yeah, top, but you know top, what? Top, top if you're a star, you're a star. It doesn't matter if you have a bag over your head. This one's less technical, and this one has more. Then we don't need her. We gave her a homie pass one more time. Judges, have you guys come to a consensus? Yes, yes. we have, yes. finally. It's unanimous. Let's go ahead and bring up all the dancers and their moms. Make some noise. The judges have made their decision. That means 11 of you still have a chance at winning $100,000 and a scholarship to the Young Dancers program at the Joffrey School of Ballet in New York. But for one of you, the experience comes to an end tonight. Okay, dancers, it is time to find out the judges' decision. When you hear your name, please step forward. Elizabeth. Tessa. Brianna. Tua. Madison. Everyone's standing in the back row. Sometimes the back row is the place to be. Congratulations. You are moving on in the competition. It was just amazing. We let out that breath, that weight off our shoulders. It was just such a relief. You know, but at the same time, we felt bad for those kids, you know, not knowing what their fate was going to be. Out of the five dancers on this stage, only four of them will be moving on in our competition. Brianna. Please step forward. Madison. Well, I want you two to know that you were the top performers this week. When Brianna and Madison were announced as the top two, I was relieved. I was extremely happy, but also relieved at the same time. Elizabeth, first I want to say that you are a beautiful girl and you have beautiful technique. You're a wonderful dancer. But the very thing that you've been praised for, technique, you let slip right here tonight. I chose you as the winner of the technique challenge. And then you were placed right smack in between two very technical dancers. And I saw the technique slide. You don't rest on your laurels. Exactly. This is an audition. This is a competition. It's about being the best. And that's what will get you to the end. We want to see you on that journey. So you will be moving on in this competition. I thought I was going home tonight. And I have another week here. And so I feel like I can improve myself more. All right. We're down to the final two. Judges, any last words? Yes. I'd like to tell Tessa, on a positive note, the choreographer saw something in you. That's why you were given that special part. But then you didn't become Carol Burnett or Donald O'Connor or even Debbie Reynolds. You didn't run with it. Tua, I think that you blended in. I think that you did not stand out as a weak tapper. I think you held your own tonight. You were more than just a pretty face, but you are not on the level of the rest of the dancers in this competition. So with all of that being said, 
And after watching you, you both perform tonight, Tessa, can you please step forward? Tessa, today is not your day. Thank you for being a part of the competition, and I'm sure we will see you again soon. Thank you. Well, I'm happy that Tua gets to stay, but I don't really understand why, because this week's skill is technique, and I definitely have much more technique than she does. Tess is a child. This is the beginning of her career. The world has a lot of Tessa to see. Let's go. Are we forgetting anything? Nope. As long as I got you and you got me, we're all set. This season at my ultimate dance competition. Don't Daddy. tell me what to do. Scream it out loud. Just let the damn kids dance. Get out. I did it. Yeah. Is that a threat? Oh, God. I don't need any competition in the Wicked Witch department. You need to dance like you're never going to dance again. And you might not ever dance again.